Hey everybody, so, um, this is my first ever episode of Destiny Strike Commentary. I've been wanting to do this shit for fucking years. I just never gone around to it. I just had this sudden idea of, like, why don't I do a video commentating over the strike gameplay I just captured? Anyway, this is the new Ruinous Effigy? Effigy? I think it's called. I have the Catalyst for it as well. I upgraded that bitch. Fully upgraded Catalyst in this gameplay. Uh, it's pretty insane. It's a really, really fun gun. Uh, and a really cool strategy, guys. So, uh, you know how the gun drops orbs, as seen there. I actually thought I picked up the, the, the worm from that guy, so I kind of just, you know, was in his way for a bit, which I felt bad about, but, um, quick tip. So, you see me blogging right here, right? So, you can get down the one ammo, and you can see me right now. It drains some of your health when you get to one ammo. And you can actually use this to prolong, like if you're trying to reach an enemy and you want to slam dunk him or something, you can actually prolong your duration by just holding L2. Uh, and also a good strat um, for just getting kills is if you use Phoenix Protocol and um, Well of Radiance, you can actually hold it down almost unlimitedly. It'll eventually kill you, but you can just reset it real quick because uh, it, it does more and more damage over time was what I noticed. Um, whenever you hold down L2, so you can't just like hold it down forever with like a healing rift or something. Um, it's a great gun. I highly recommend getting it. It's really, really fun, even if it might not be that powerful, which it is pretty powerful in my opinion. Uh, it's so much fun. It's one of the most, probably in the top three most unique exotic weapons in Destiny history. It's just really fucking awesome. I want to talk about how I managed to deal with my cat's death. Now, I might make a whole nother video on what happened with my cat, uh, but essentially, she was 18 years old. She's been a lifelong friend of mine. Uh, almost a, a sibling. She meant a hell of a lot to me. And she passed away on May 14th of this year, so it's almost been two months already. Um, and, um, you know, she was... I had two choices uh, for her... Something I've kind of honestly forgot. I think it was like cancer or some shit. <laughs> uh, I, was, I had two choices. I could either put her through hell with surgeries, um, and keep in mind she's 18, so this is going to be hell on earth for her, and she's likely going to die. I think they even told us that too. Uh, or just get rid of her now and put her down and get rid of her misery in a comfortable way. And so I was forced to, to put her down, basically. That was my only option. Unless if I wanted to put her health and be, a, you know, a selfish douchebag. Uh, I thought that was Nova Bomb was going to heal me for some reason. Um, so really the option for me, the only option is to put her down, obviously. I'm not going to be a selfish dickbag. And as much as I, you know, throughout the grieving process, I looked back. It's like, I wish I would have done the surgery. I knew in my head, like, no. I uh, no, I shouldn't be doing that. I, I sh I'm glad I did what I did because I think it was ultimately the right decision um, to do. Even though it was the toughest decision, it was the right decision, and it hurt like hell. I cried so much that day to the point where my eyes hurt throughout the entire day. It was it was absolutely insane. Um, one of the worst, actually the worst day of my life, I would say. And it's really the only person or thing family member i've ever lost i've never lost anybody uh i mean my grandpa in 2010 but i didn't really know him too well so um yeah so that's just the kind of backstory and everything i want to talk about how i managed to deal with it this is just me and how i dealt with it this may not work for other people but me personally uh Surrounding myself with my friends and family has been a huge, huge thing. If any of my friends are watching this, man, you guys have helped me so fucking much. I don't even care if I, like, barely hanged out with you, like, in the Discord chat and shit. Uh, I mean, it's helped me a lot. I mean, also, Guild Wars 2 has helped me. Uh, I made a few videos on those if you want to check them out. And, uh, yeah, just a fantastic, fantastic game. I've been loving it. And, you know, when my cat died, we were in Season of Lordy and Destiny 2, and that season sucked fucking donkey dicks. So, um, yeah, obviously I wasn't going to play that fucking trash. But, um... Oh, and I went full on fucking Riri there. I didn't even realize that. Uh, because of the fact that, um, I was like, should I dunk? Should I not? And I was just kind of like contemplating. It was not a good sight to see for sure. Uh, Guild Wars 2 has been a huge thing for me. Having like those constant goals to look forward to every day and shit, and just overall really enjoying that game has been a huge thing for me. And I've put in about 350 hours in the past two months on that fucking game. Um, or probably like 325 in the past two months, which is. I mean, fucking insane. Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, that game has been fantastic. My friends have really helped me. Just playing video games and kind of getting my mind off of things has helped me too. It sounds bad because it's like you're like distracting yourself from like the real thing. But it actually helps because 
it kind of like pushes it back to the point where when you think about it again, it isn't as bad as it was before, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know. It's just those things really helped video games. Like I said, my friends, my family, um, any video game really. Just watching YouTube videos, those those really helped too. Um, I have a lot of YouTubers that I like watching. Uh, making YouTube videos was some things too, even though I took a break for a while. Um, you know, I was still in that grieving process when I came back, so making the videos really helped me. Uh, and that's just something that I like doing is making YouTube videos. What if I get a lot of views or not? I don't really care. I just like doing them. Uh, and I doubt this video will get any sort of amount of views either. But I just like doing these, man. They're a lot of fun to do. I like kind of talking my mind off and shit. So uh, whenever no one, my friends aren't on or whatever, I just like doing that. Um, that's really honestly what helped me the most. Uh, there really wasn't anything else that helped me. Uh... A lot of comfort food help too. I know that sounds bad because it, I wouldn't recommend people with like, I don't know, like eating disorders or something do that shit. But like for somebody who can control their eating habits like me, um, that helped out for sure was uh, getting, uh, you know, comfort food and shit and eating fast food a lot and stuff helped out. I mean, obviously you're going to have to have self-control. You're going to eventually have to stop and shit. And that's what I did. Um, but that helped for sure. Um and yeah, I think that's really the the list of everything that helped. I don't really think there's uh, really anything else that helped me out a bunch. Uh, you know, things were rough. Uh, it definitely got worse and worse for me. Um, things are always going to get worse before they get better, you know. I think Alfred said that in The Dark Knight. Um, you know, fucking the night is darkest just before the dawn or whatever, Harvey Dent. And then the uh, irony of that, though, is he ended up becoming a fucking villain later on. Um... Yeah, I don't know. That's what <laughs> that's what helped me, man. So if you want to apply some of those, go for it. Um, I don't really know if you've if you've lost a, you know, friend, family member, whatever. I, you know, that I I don't know what to say. I'm I'm sorry. Is that no? That sounds fucking rude. I don't fucking know, man. It sucks. I I don't really know how to properly express myself sometimes. It fucking sucks ass, dude. It sucks fat fucking donkey cock. But um. Yeah, uh, things have been going better for sure. Uh, I got a new cat. I forgot to mention that. His name's Toby. He's two years old. Uh, so if you're hearing me talk about my cat in the background, that's why it's not like my other cat's still alive or something. That'd be fucking cruel if I did that. Fake this fucking deaf reviews or something. Like, Jesus, that'd be... So I wonder if anybody's done that on this website. Someone probably has. Fake their pet's deaf reviews. Man, that's, that's so fucking scummy if that's the case. Um... But yeah, if you guys want to see any more like content like this, let me know if anybody's watching this shit, because I love doing this, man. I absolutely love just talking about shit over Strike gameplay. Uh, it's just shit I love doing. I'd also love to do like live comms of Strikes and shit and just talk about stuff. Um, that'd be kind of fun, too. I just want to do more Strike shit, you know? I, I started doing this Strike because I want to get that new Moment of Triumph t-shirt. I'm actually wearing last year's Moment of uh, Triumph t-shirt right now. And uh, I want to get that new one. So one of them requires like 20 strikes, 10 challenges completed, and a couple other things I need to do. I need like four triumphs, and then I can get it. Um, so I'm definitely going to get the shirt. I'm definitely going to get the Solstice Armor coming up in a few weeks. I'm really excited about that because I want to get that a lot for transmog purposes. Um, that's going to be fucking tits when I get Solstice Armor, man. That's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, that's going to cover it. Uh, have a good one, everybody. If you want to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. But if you support the channel, whatever you want to do to support the channel is greatly appreciated. Uh, subscribe, don't subscribe. Hey, man, I'm just chilling. You know, do what the fuck you want to do. All right, it's the free fucking internet. Do whatever, man. I don't care if you dislike, like, don't even like it or dislike it all. Don't even comment. Watch this video for like 20 seconds. I don't give a fuck, man. Do what you want to do. Peace out.